All right, so the second session in this review is on special continuous probability distributions. We want to begin with a gamma distribution as a subsection, okay? So the gamma distribution is useful in modeling many non-negative continuous random variables whose probability distribution is skewed to the right, okay? So such random variables may arise in the study of waiting times and reliability theories, such as the time to fill off a certain manufactured product or the length of time to complete maintenance on an electronic device or some component parts, or the time to death of a patient with certain disease, okay? So let's take a look at the definition for gamma distribution. The continuous random variable X is set to have the gamma distribution with parameters alpha and beta if its PDF is given by equation 2.11. So in this equation, we have alpha to be the shape parameter and have beta to be the scale parameter. So changing the value of alpha will change the shape of the distribution. Um, changing the value of beta corresponds to um, changing the unit of measurement, such as changing from meters to centimeters or seconds to minutes, okay? So this is the gamma function, which is defined as shown below, okay? Now for any positive integer of alpha, we have the gamma of alpha to be alpha minus one factor, okay? So can you take note of this? So this is a figure showing us um, a graph of the gamma probability density functions for selected values of alpha and beta, okay? So when alpha is one, we have this exponential decay. When alpha is 1.5, the shape changes, okay? So for different values of alpha, we can see that the shape of the distribution will change, okay? Now there are some special cases of the gamma distribution. When we set alpha to one, for any value of beta, we obtain the special case of the gamma distribution known as the exponential distribution. So we can see that this is in the form of exponential decay, right? And when we set alpha to be a positive integer, then for any value of beta, we also obtain another special case of the gamma distribution known as the N-Lang distribution, okay? And this distribution is used extensively in current theory to model waiting time problems, okay? Now for the, special, for the last case, when we set alpha to be equal to n divided by two, where n is a degree of freedom and we set beta to be equal to two, we obtain another special case of the gamma distribution known as the chi-square distribution, okay? So just take note of that. So let's take a look at some properties of the gamma distribution. If X has the gamma distribution with parameters alpha and beta, then the expectation of the random variable x is equal to alpha beta, and the variance of x is alpha beta squared, and we have the moment generating function as defined below, okay? All right, so let's take an example. In a biomedical study with two rats, a dose response investigation is used to determine the effect of the dose of a torso count on the ascular time. The torso count is one that is frequently discharged into the atmosphere from jet fuel. For a certain dose of the toxicant, the study determined that the survival time in weeks has a gamma distribution with alpha to be equal to five and beta to be equal to 10. What is the probability that a rat survives no longer than 60 weeks, okay? So uh, let's take a look at the solution. Let X denote the survival time in weeks, that is the time to death of a rat. Uh, since we are interested in the time until a rat survives in an inatomous 60 weeks, given that five rats survives every 10 weeks, it follows that the survival rate per week is going to be lambda, which is equal to one atom of beta, which is similar to one divided by 10, which is equal to 0 0.1, okay? So hence, we have our random variable x to follow the gamma distribution with alpha to be five and the rate to be equal to 0 0.1, okay? So we can have our density function for the gamma in this form, which can also be defined in this form, okay? which we can also re express it in this one, okay? So we know gamma of five can be five minus one factor, as we have four factor, where n one divided by 10 raised to the power of five is similar to 0 0.15, okay? So we want to find a probability that a rat survives no longer than 60 weeks, which can be expressed in this form. So um, we can pull the constant out so that we can take the integral with respect to x. Once you integrate this, you obtain this, so we can multiply through to obtain this result, which basically means that there's approximately 71% chance that a rat survives no longer than 60 weeks, okay? So this will be a trial question. I will leave the solution in the description of this video so you can check it out. 
please if you found value in today's tutorial video don't forget to subscribe if you have not and thank you for watching